here. Welcome back another day, another vlog. Great to see you all again today. Well, I forgot to tell you yesterday, but the hats, hats arrived. The new hats, 34 Media. Oh, let's see if we can get them in. There. New Era, 30, what are they? New Era hats. Got the new logo, no wording, just went the logo this time. Got the shirts for all that. Uh, pretty stoked. I reckon they come up good, so... It's a little bit different way from the last one. They were the old fishing, uh, the fishing hats from the team, which we started out. We've evolved a bit. Now I've just got one straight just for the 34 media. So pretty cool. Um, pretty happy how that all went. They've come up really nice. So super stoked. So you'll be seeing me wearing this one a lot more in the channel. And you can save me have a good one uh, for the fishing. So that was a little something. Now, uh, went out shooting, got a video done today. That was pretty cool. Did some stuff yesterday afternoon, some shots. Uh, found one of the rare spots in Darwin for some drone in the city, which was pretty cool out on the Esplanade. That was cool. That was a clear, or not a fully clear spot. You have to just watch out for uh, the helipad access. So it's just basically normal drone awareness that if you fly a drone, you understand what I mean. So there is some spots there. You've just got to find them. I did touch base with Drone Kings of Darwin, and they said basically they just go out and just check where they're going. So that was pretty cool. Thanks for those for that uh helpful info guys and it was a matter of just walking around spots that I wanted to go see if it was there um, I tried to get back to the old baseball ground today uh, unfortunately that's in the restricted zone so I just couldn't do it so I did some handheld <laughs> flying around the diamond it's really not what I wanted I wanted a nice aerial shot of the ground where I grew up basically so can't do it unfortunately and just too hard to do the approval process so that's just a, a bit of a Bit of a stuff up just the main we'll just wait because the airport's basically right in the center of darwin it's a bit of a nightmare for drones so just gotta basically go around and find it get out of that restricted zone and there is some options there so i did get some really good panoramas of the city which was cool uh a nice big boat coming into the harbor that was pretty cool and some other nice shots around so some good footage out of the drone i uh, got some really nice shots yesterday arpo and today on the camera a lot of run and gunning with the RP, uh, just this beautiful where all the water's washed away, all this uh, rock line, rock coastline at, at Nycliffe and uh, at the jetty and down the far end as well. Um, some great spots there, so pretty darn cool. Um, overall, so that should be a pretty cool video, of something I never anticipated, but it's just another one I can chuck into the list. It's a long way off. <laughs> Don't expect it next week, please. I've got, as I said, I think yesterday I've got another video from uh, before Christmas or after Christmas and then I've got the 16 days of the trip coming up the big 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 stuff so heaps of heaps of stuff to come on the channel stay tuned for that so very very cool now sad day for all of myself and all of us I guess we're not millennials or whatever we're the whatever age group we are us old people we are now. Um, Daft Punk retired today. Uh, the band's called it quits after 28 years, 1993 to 2021, obviously, today. Um, so really sad. Uh, they've got a, there's a video, like an epilogue, you can go and see them, where they basically do their bit. Just a little video, a bit of fun stuff to see, basically say goodbye to the fans. Uh, they come out with One More Time, some massive, massive hits. Uh, many of I've gone to at a rave and went on my younger years and danced to, so it's going to be sad to see those guys go. Uh, thanks for everything you've given to music and to us, to our generation that actually got to sort of, I guess, enjoy it um, before all the craziness come in in the after 2000 era. So, it, um, yeah, definitely a sad day for us Doof Doof fans. So <laughs> uh, thanks Daft Punk, much appreciated and good luck in whatever you do in the future guys. Uh, to both of you, you've done an awesome job and you should be very proud. Now uh, also Sebastian Vettel's moved on from Ferrari. Uh, whether it's good or bad, whatever, he's gone over to Aston Martin. Well, he's selling his car collection. Now there's a lot of low kilometer super Ferraris there. A LaFerrari, an F50, an F12 TDF, a 458 Special, and some super high-spec Merc cars as well. And this, he's selling it all. He's moving to England, out of Switzerland. There's 
Um, so obviously he's not going to be able to, doesn't want to sh freight them all over and just store them. So instead of doing that, he's going to offload them all. So a great opportunity for any of you millionaires out there listening to my channel to buy those cars. Now, if you do, please give us a call. I'd love to jump in your private bet, uh, jet and shoot across and do some drive tests with you. That'd be pretty cool. If you're not watching, um, yeah, or you can't afford them, be like me, you can go check him out. And yeah, he's got some very nice cars. So uh, pretty cool, I guess, some of these F1 drivers are used to driving ridiculous cars. And I guess when they need the space, it's very easy for let, them to let go something that I guess a lot of us people that never can afford them would dream about having. It's like, oh, why would you do that? And the team, it's probably, well, I'm going to get 10 Aston Martins in the next five years, so it doesn't really matter. So you'll probably end up with a Vulcan or something crazy. So I thought it was pretty cool. And yeah, it's someone, some lucky collector out there is going to end up with some superlative car so very cool now that strange painting uh like a little vlogging stick looks like an icy pole or a big lollipop from canon the vlogging camera we've we talked about it when it first came out the painting was sort of recognized uh it's getting more and more canon rumors are saying that it's likely that we could hear, see this as a release in april this year um so i looked at it a little bit more and i tried to have a think about if it could work just as a gimbal with just a lens on it and obviously the software to run that lens. Um, obviously EFM and I thought, and I had a bit of a uh, epiphany and I thought, well, that macro lens that they have in the EFM range with the inbuilt LED light, imagine if they could put a ring light into say a 16 mil or a 11 mil EFM lens and then as a, as a specific lens for that, for that unit, you get an inbuilt LED light uh, and you get a wide angle lens, perfect for vlogging. And if it was weather sealed, beautiful, because that's going to be the next thing. There's some, my DJI OM4, there's um, all sorts of other fantastic gimbals out there with multiple, multiple manufacturers now, <clears throat> other than DJI and all the other ones. Um, the, probably the next step for them is they're running out of options of what they can put into these things is to make them more robust and to make them weather sealed. Imagine being able to do all that on, on my OM4 in the pouring rain with my weather sealed camera. Magic. Um, so if Canon's doing this, if it's just a lens on a unit, there's a lot less there to go wrong. So if you can weather seal that lens onto there, that cuts out that problem. And then you've only got to weather seal the body, uh, which shouldn't be too bad, apart from the pivots, some O-rings, stuff like that should sort that out. A weather sealed vlogging camera, Ming Yong, uh, that could sell like hotcakes. Chuck in that inbuilt light and the right lens, definitely worth checking out. So I think that could be the way we're going. April, they're talking about on Canon Rumors that we could see this come out. Um, if it does have that weather sealing in there, definitely going to be something worth checking out. Um, and it needs the right lens. And I said, if that gets that macro inbuilt light in there, then you don't need to have a light put onto it. So no accessories going on. You only have to worry about a microphone, which they can put the input under the handle and then go like a wireless go or put a put a proper bucket onto the back of it where you can mount your wireless go. That should be cool. <clears throat> Speaking of which, the Rode wireless goes, which I use all the time um, and I love them. They're fantastic. Uh, there's a new product coming that hasn't released as yet. They put a teaser out this morning on Rode's Instagram channel. So there's a brand new wireless microphone coming. We don't know the details. As soon as they release it, I'll get more info. There's only a picture now. I'll let you know what's going on. I'll try and chase up more of that tonight and give you some info tomorrow. So very, very cool. Uh, they do a great product. The Wireless Go is a game changer. It makes it so easy to run around. No 20 foot cables while you're walking through the scrub or even in, when you're in the office, you can run over and change something in between shoots and, and takes and don't have to worry about why. So very, very cool. <clears throat> uh, Apple is reportedly making a MagSafe battery pack for the iPhone 13. iPhone 13 is rumored to be portless. We thought it was coming. It looks like it's definitely coming in the iPhone 13. And now as an accessory, you'll be able to buy a MagSafe battery that clips straight on and instantly start charging your phone. So a spare bat couple of spare batteries in your backpack Phone gets boom, mag, clip it straight on, bang, keep calling, keep doing whatever you're doing, keep gaming, 
brilliant idea, very smart. <clears throat> so very, very cool. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now, last but not least, Sigma has a new release coming tomorrow, 24th of February, 11.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Check on YouTube for wherever you are in the world for the uh, release time for you. Sorry about the music. I put on techno on Epidemic, and it's rarely that I got I get stuffed around, but it's gone a little bit heavy on me. <laughs> I wanted a bit of techno for Daft Punk's last day. But anyway, sorry, I digress. Sigma, new item lens. I don't think it's going to be a camera. It's not going to be that Fovian sensor. They've already said that they've pushed that back. So a new lens, what will it be? Hopefully something for the Canon RF range or the EFM range. Who knows? Probably not the EFM. Nice cheap version of the RF. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, that's it. Another day, another vlog. I will see you all again tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. Whether you're going this way or that way, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.